Welcome back to On The Beat. Isaac here again this week and Patrick Wooten rejoining me from Richard Swartz and Associates. And Patrick, today we are going to talk about uh, medical bills. God forbid there's an accident. How That's do right. they get paid? Yes. All right. So thanks for spending some time with us this morning. You mentioned before we started taping that it's one of the most frequently asked questions Absolutely. that you and you guys get. So yep. once you've had an accident, car wreck, anything else, mm -hmm. for example, who is going to pay it? Yeah. Who's paying the bills? It's a great question because someone goes to the doctor, you have health insurance, you want them to file their health insurance. Sure. Unfortunately, the way health insurance is Medicare, Medicaid, private health insurance, they have a year. They can wait a year to file that bill and they would hope that you're able to resolve your accident case before that time because they want full payment. Sure. Needless to say, they don't want to file with health insurance because of all the built-in discounts. Right. So that's a challenge that people run into. Okay, so uh, with that in mind, if you were to give the doctors your health insurance, yep. um, how, do, how do I get reimbursed? How that's do they right. get reimbursed? The key is you just said it right there. You always give them your health insurance. Sure. A lot of people are, are a little afraid to give their health insurance, think it's going to negatively impact them. Absolutely not. Give your health insurance. Hopefully that provider will file. If they do, we'll have to pay back the health insurance carrier for anything they paid. Sure. If we resolve it, which a lot of times we do before you reach that one year threshold, well then we'll just pay the medical director or medical provider directly out of the settlement. Okay. Yeah. All right. Good to know there. So if you can't work, which I mean, assuming you have to go to the hospital mm -hmm. and uh, X, Y, and Z happens, That's you probably right. are going to be out of work. So how does the bill get paid? You know, I guess your personal bills get paid outside of the medical. Yeah, see, that's a big challenge too. So you've got, if you're off of work and the provider starts billing you for that treatment, sure. that's where it benefits of having Schwartz and Associates because we can reach out to that medical provider and say, hey, I've talked to our client. They will sign, it's called a letter of protection or a promissory note. We will pay your bill when the case resolves. So then you don't have to worry about collections on, on that end. Okay, so it, that protects collections from correct, being called. Correct, exactly, okay. which is a big stress to people. Yeah, that seems like a, an ease of mind for sure. Um, so getting uh, further into it, yeah. I guess, what happens if the hospital or provider, doctor, doesn't file the medical on your on your health insurance? Yeah, that's great. As long as we've given notice, so that's where you always provide it to them in the beginning. We actually follow up as a firm and say, hey, Isaac's got, you know, Blue Cross Blue Shield or Isaac's got me, you're way too young, but Isaac's got Medicare, you know. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> thankfully. Yeah. You know, and the thing is, if they actually refuse to file Medicare, for example, then their bill can be completely written off. If they don't file it within that one year window, can be written off. Same thing if they fail to file with a private health insurance or with Medicaid or some other one and they've been given notice, they could be in violation of their contract with that insurance provider and they may have to write off that bill. Okay, and that's something I guess that uh, somebody may not know is that, mm -hmm. but you, you have to involve legal counsel in order for that to happen, right? Yes. No, no you're exactly right. Okay. That's where it gets the benefit of Schwartz and Associates that we've handled you know, hundreds of thousands of cases and, and know this law inside and out. So we know the steps to take to make sure that A, hopefully they file your health insurance, but if they don't, then they're held accountable for failing to file your health insurance and you'll get the benefit, you know, of sure. the fact and that, that could they didn't. be, you know, lots of money That's potentially. Right. Yep, you know, exactly. If, if that rule is not completely followed. Yep. Well some great advice, Patrick. We sure appreciate you spending a little bit of your time with us this morning. And if you have any additional questions or need any additional information, it is listed there on your screen. We'll be right back.